What? How do we find out, um, Janelle? How do we? How could we find out that what exactly do all these migrant child children need? Well, we know that migrant children and left behind children tend to um, they get into trouble when they're a little bit older because they don't have the family structure that you know is really important in. For children growing up, and you know they're constantly moving around. The migrant children are constantly moving around. The left behind children are left at home with their grandparents, and oftentimes they, you know, they don't have the kind of supervision that children should have, and um, and so we know through that that these kids need to learn these values, you know, care, courage, commitment, and confidence. And so we use these different programs in order to instill these values.、Hmm. So just now we're speaking of the three parts of this、um, curriculum. They、mm-hmm. are art, yes,、um, sports, yes, and、um, music. Music. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and music. <laughs> so why don't we have this religious、um, describe one of the like typical activities or cur- and by one of them we mean arts.、Us. Okay,、uh, <laughs> this is a new program that we're piloting. So、um, it's a combination of some different discipline disciplines. So we call it the interdisciplinary program.、Um, so first of all, we have a mental health aspect,、um, and Janelle's probably better to talk about <laughs> mental health. But she's she's actually been working on that part of the、oh. curriculum. <laughs> yeah. <Good job. laughs> I would like to say、and、that then, Janelle will answer that question. Not really. I just I just want the public to be better informed. So. <laughs> Um, so this new program that we're piloting has a mental health aspect, and it's all about the kids learning more about themselves,、um, peer mediation, conflict res- resolution, and、um, yeah. So, but give, give me an idea, and be more specific. So you've got it's a, mostly an after-school program. Um, it's a Saturday program. Saturday. Okay, so it's a Saturday program. For how long does it go? Three hours each Saturday for six weeks. So, so three hours each Saturday, six weeks. So that's eighteen hours. And and how much of it is conflict resolution or mediation? How give me an idea of what those classes are for the course of those? Okay,、weeks. it's just a little bit. So we have about forty-five minutes of mental health,、um, and that's. Could use that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you'll find this. <laughs>、um, and that's. <laughs> Well, not very well, but <laughs> I know you are right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay.、Um, so the mental health part comes after a few introductory games. So we do an active game and then a slow, quiet game because we find that different children respond to different things. So some kids might be really into the active stuff, and some might prefer to just sit and reflect.、Um, so we go through those those few things. So that's about half an hour. They're、um, about ten to fourteen years old. And how many? Thirty in each program.、Um, and then after the mental health, we do a little bit of English, just a very short English section,、um, and that's mainly based on the、Are、other things that we're doing. Are you allowed to teach English? <laughs> <laughs> of course, <laughs> that's the reviled <laughs> English. <laughs> Just I'm very lucky I can teach them <laughs> Aldalia <laughs> Hua. <laughs> all right, all right. So,、uh, and what else?、Um, then we also do art for about an hour and fifteen minutes.、Um, so the art programs that we're doing、um, uh, also an extension of、um, reflection on on those values that we're teaching throughout the program. So.、Um, The first week. What are we doing the first week? I can't remember. <laughs> In art,、um, the first week where oh, I mean the migrant children. Yeah. Are, yeah. Um, <laughs> so learning. What am I doing for art? <laughs> what do you mean the kids? Yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about?、Um, they're learning how to properly draw their own faces. So we're gonna have them look into mirrors and have、um, a sketchbook. Um, or a piece of paper, and learn how to properly draw. <gasps> I want to be、people. in that class because I still, so far, I didn't know how to draw my face properly. <laughs> what, what do you mean by properly draw? I don't know if that's the art term, but I know that there are <laughs> ways to, for example, draw eyes or noses in the correct way. So dividing, dividing the page up into、yeah. squares and doing.、Um, What is it called? Like 
in a symmetrical way. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> but also the reason why we do this activity is so that the children can reflect on who they are, what they look like, what makes them special. So oh, these yeah. these themes are coming through in each of the things we do. But the, the, the teaching the kids to like um, develop their art, like like uh, things like that, um, are quite quite uh, educational. Yeah. So so how can we make it a very creative, or how can we make it? Um, we do that through games um, and through providing them with materials that are fun to work with. So one week we're painting, one week we're using clay to sculpt and having a little competition where um, some of the kids have to run and have a look at a sculpture that's already been made then run back and tell the others what, what it looks like and then the team makes the sculpture. It does sound like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> um, we're also doing tessellations, which is um, when you cut out kind of like a, a jagged jigsaw with wrapping paper and then put it together um, and we're doing we're doing a few other painting activities that kind of thing mm. so really we're providing the kids with materials that they might not be able to work with on a day to day basis and giving them the chance to express themselves have a bit of fun play around and also to work on their confidence and those kinds of things then what are the feedbacks from the kids um, generally that they really enjoy it. 